Hey there, I'm Casey Ferris. I make videos on DaVinci Resolve here on YouTube, and today we're talking about making some awesome textures inside of Fusion. I'm talking about ones that look legit using some 3D goodness. Oh, baby. Let's go. So we're gonna make a really simple scene here, and there's a bunch of different ways that you could do this. I'm just gonna grab a Shape 3D node and bring this into our nodes. And then over here in our inspector, the shape will make it a plane, and we'll make it pretty big. And then I'm gonna add a Merge 3D node and a Renderer 3D node. Those will appear here after our shape, and I'll connect the Renderer 3D to our media out. So now we have a white screen. Wonderful news. If we open up our Merge 3D here in our first viewport, we'll see it's just a big old plane, which is what we want. Let's make this say, oh, I don't know, a brick wall. Normally what you might do is just grab a brick texture from somewhere that you definitely have rights to use and throw it in your comp as a 2D layer. But if you can get a 3D texture, that's one with all the bells and whistles, then you can make a really, really cool texture that interacts with lighting and all kinds of stuff. If you go to a site called polygon.com with two eyes, polygon, they have some really cool free textures. You can sign up for their premium plan and get some even better textures, but check this out. What a cool brick texture and you can get it for free. And so that's what I've done is just downloaded this texture. So you can do that and follow along if you want to. By the way, I'm not sponsored by Polygon. I don't even know them at all, but it's the site from Blender Guru, who by the way, if you want to learn Blender is just the best tutorial guy ever for Blender. Anyway, so when you get a texture from Polygon, it comes with a few different images. There are different kinds of views of these bricks. One of them is color. The other one is a normal map, which we'll be using. There's a displacement map. There's all these kind of things that we don't quite have time to get into. Today, I'm gonna use the color variation one, the normal map and the gloss. I'll drag each of these right into our nodes and rename them as we go. Just select it and hit F2. This one's called color. The next one will be normal and the next one will be gloss. Now these three images are going to combine together to make some really cool 3D effects here on our texture. So how do we apply these as a texture to our plane? Well, the first thing we're gonna have to do is make a material. And don't worry, I'll explain this if you're not into 3D stuff, if you have no idea what's going on. A material is literally like a material in the real life, like what something is made out of, right? Plastic, metal, in this case, bricks. I'm gonna hit Shift Spacebar, that'll bring up our Select Tool, and I'm gonna type COO, that'll bring up Cook Torrents. Cook Torrents is just a material for 3D stuff that lets you connect a whole bunch of different images to it to make it look nice and realistic. If we hit one on the keyboard right now, it'll give us a little preview of what this looks like. So it just looks basically like what we have right now. It's nice, smooth white. But now we can connect our textures to this material and it really matters where you connect the textures because each one of these little inputs has a different job. So if I right click and drag off of an output and then let go, on the cook torrents, then I can select whichever input I want to connect this image to. So I'll connect the color to diffuse color and see we're getting somewhere. We have our brick texture, but it doesn't look amazing yet. It looks really flat and not that great. One thing that'll help is connecting our gloss. So I'll take the output and I'll connect this gloss to specular color. And that's looking a little bit nicer, but what's really gonna make a difference here is connecting our normal. Now, a normal map, if we look up here, a normal map is generally looks kind of purple and pink. And really what it is, is a map of the directions that each part of the texture is facing. So if we zoom in here, if it's facing to the right, it's pink. If it's facing to the left, it's kind of green. If it's facing towards us, it's more of a purple. And so depending on the color information, Fusion can work with a lot more detail as if we made this with an actual 3D mesh. Really, really cool. But to connect this normal to our material, we need another node. I'll hit shift spacebar and I'm gonna type BUMP, and let's use this bump map tool. Now, if we select bump map and go up and hit one on the keyboard, then we can see a preview of what this is doing. Actually, I'll hit two on the keyboard so we can look over here, and it looks like a cool planet, right? But here's the thing, this isn't quite right because we need to change the source image type from height map to bump map, and then look what's happening. It looks like bricks. You see what I'm saying? It's so good. Then we connect this bump map, and I'll let that go on bump map here. And now if we bring up our cook torrents, Look at what's happening. Oh boy. It looks like real bricks. Check this out. So this is without the bump map and this is with it. Isn't that great? So now we have some pretty good looking bricks. So now how do we get this material to apply to this shape 3D? Well, we use a node. I'll hit shift spacebar with the shape 3D and I'll type replace and we want replace material 3D. And this is just saying, okay, whatever material you're using, just replace it with eh, this one. Now let's take a look at our render. 
And now we have our nice looking texture, but it's not amazing. It just looks like a picture of bricks. That's because we need to adjust a couple things. First is this render 3D right here. In the inspector, we need to enable lighting and shadows and everything goes dark. Oh no, what have we done? <laughs> what have we done? Well, that's because we need to add lights, that's all. I'm gonna click off of this and hit shift spacebar and type light. And there's a bunch of different 3D lights that we can choose from. I like to mess around with a point light. I'll hit add and I'll take the output of the point light and pipe that into merge 3D and check out what's happening now. Oh, look at this. What's going on? <gasps> what? What's going on? That's crazy. Let's take our merge 3D and bring that up in our first viewer. Since we have merge 3D selected, I can select our shape or our point light and move it around here in 3D space. And look what happens when I move this light around. Oh boy, look at that. Isn't that sick? So you get like a pretty darn good looking brick wall without a whole lot of effort. It's just about importing these textures and then connecting them to the cook torrents and replacing that material with it. Pretty awesome. One last tip. If you right click in this left viewer with the replace material 3D with the merge 3D in the viewer, you can go to 3D options, lighting, 3D options, shadows. And now you can actually preview what this lighting looks like right here in the window. So I could take this point light and make it, I don't know, pink, and then copy and paste it, connect it to that merge and change its color to bluish, move it around. And now we have this cool little neon 80s effect and we're ready to uh, we're ready to listen to some retro wave, man. Look at that. That's so cool. It looks so good. Looks like we spent all this time modeling 3D and junk. We didn't do we didn't do any of that. We let other people do that and we reaped the benefits. So good. So I know this is kind of a jumble of nodes. It might be a little bit confusing. Let's do a little bit of organizing here. This right here, I'll type UND. That'll put a little label underneath everything here. Click off and hit Alt and select that and hit F2. This is our material. We're just making our shape, replacing the material with our fancy material, adding lights, rendering it, and that's what we're gonna see. Pretty cool. If you wanna see more videos about 3D lighting and stuff inside of Fusion, it's so much fun. Let me know in the comments. And for more of all kinds of videos about DaVinci Resolve, make sure to subscribe to my channel and click on this video right here, this one. This is the one that you click on. Do it please or else. I will not do anything. I'll probably just not really know because it's impossible to know what every single person does because it's not like I'm tracking you. Or am I? I'm not. Or am I?